So there's a new technology that has hit the red light therapy industry and my email inbox and YouTube comments feed has, has blown up. People have been asking, what is this new parabolic multi-wave technology feature? And is it something that, you know, is a must have? And it's a good question. And I'm gonna answer it in this video because I've taken a bit of a dive into this new technology. Notice I'm using air quotes, quite important. And I'm gonna help to explain whether this is a game changer technology or not. Oh, and also be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I've got my spectrometer here and uh, I'm gonna show you some images with the spectrometer that are related to this parabolic multi-wave technology and it's gonna blow your mind. So parabolic multi-wave technology appeared on the Root Care website. Uh, this is a website that sells red light therapy devices. I've tested uh, one of their previous generation panels. They came out with their new G3 range. It is their new and improved range, lots of new bells and whistles in it, including this uh, parabolic technology. When you go over to the Root Care website, if you scroll down a little bit, they're promoting their new G3 series and then you'll see a graph with the title parabolic multi-wave technology so they're saying that each of their leds deliver parabolically patterned multi-wave distributions peaking at either 660 your red light or 850 nanometer near infrared light this red and near infrared spectra allows us to uh produce wavelengths that have been shown to be beneficial to the body that's the first part second part of the statement can be summed up with the last sentence here and that says with our parabolic multi-wave technology, the light distribution is uniform, creating a consistent multi-wave blanket of light energy throughout the entire panel. I love it. It's, it's, it's pretty neat how they worded it like that. So they're saying the new panels with this new technology emits a, a nice even blend of light. I guess this is in regards to the hotspot issues or the polka dot effect issues that I have talked about in the past. I've included in some of my older reviews. In fact, I've done a whole video on this. When I did my 2021 body panel comparison series, I looked at hotspots. It was a testing segment in that review series. So I am well aware of it and it is an issue. So what it means is some panels will concentrate particular wavelengths to one area, but not on the other area. But ideally you do want a nice blend of light. So that's what they've come up with here at Rootcare with their new technology, which is pretty good. I mean, it's a good move, but it's not new. In fact, if you do go and watch that hotspot video, you'll see that there were some panels and I tested about 12 of them. Some of these panels had excellent light coverage. I mean, they had excellent, if I'm gonna use the root care words, they had excellent uh, spectral distribution uh, with a consistent multi-wave blanket of light energy. They, they had that, all right? I just didn't use those terms. Kind of wish I did. It would make me sound rather uh, scientific. It's been around for, for years and whether this is by design or not, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I don't know if, Red light therapy companies have put much thought into this. Some panels have had really good coverage. Uh, the Mitre Red panels, for instance, had excellent coverage. And now uh, the Mitre Red panels have, I think, four wavelengths as well, not just the two, 660 and 850, like the Rukia ones. They had a bunch of wavelengths in there. And even that was, was blended really, really nicely uh, across the body and across the surface when I was testing it. So going back to the multi-wave parabolic technology, in relation to the distribution light coverage, there's nothing new here. But it's the first part of the explanation of this new technology that really interests me. And, and it's what it's what got me to even do this video, to be honest. I can see what they're doing here, especially when you look at their graph. Now, you see the graph, you see some some uh, parabolic or, or reasonably parabolic looking uh, spikes, and then a drop off and then another one. Okay, so that's the light intensity at 660 nanometers. And then in the gray, you're 850. Now remember the statement that goes with this graphic reads that each of our LEDs deliver parabolically patterned multi-wave distributions peaking at either 660 or 850. And then they go on to say that you're getting, pretty much you're getting a range of light uh, and that covers all of the um, documented beneficial wavelengths. So in a way, it's kind of a cheeky way to say, look, we're emitting 660 and 850 nanometer light, just like all the other panels, but you're also getting a bit more than that because we're using our parabolic uh, te multi-wave technology. But here's what's crazy. That's nothing new again. And in fact, if anything, that's a bug, not a feature. They've just sort of spun it around. And, and good on Rude Care for doing this, all right? Like, it's something that I've often said on this channel in past reviews. I've said, like, if you actually look at what's happening from these LEDs, remember the LED is not lasers, so you're getting a range of, of light across maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 nanometers. There's quite a lot of wavelengths coming out from this one LED. And it is a bit of a misconception in the industry. When people buy a panel that has 810 and 850 and 660, 
they think those are the only three wavelengths they're going to be getting, but it's not the case. All that it really means, if a panel or a website says that it has 660 nanometer light, the intensity or the peak of that light is coming in at 660. And even then, that's not true as well, because I've tested panels that should have 660 nanometer light, but they're actually peaking at, say, 658 or 655. Now, really, it doesn't matter when you're that close to the to the overall peak, you're 660. It's only when you're, say, 10 or 20 nanometers away from the peak that I think there's an issue. And that's because of the parabolic effect that we see in all LEDs, not just the root care ones. Now, I'm going to fire up my spectrometer here. This test light, uh, it's a couple of thousand dollars this unit. I'm going to test a bunch of panels that I've got lying around, and you're going to see exactly what happens to the light, all right? And you're going to see that same parabolic range now remember these panels aren't the new g3 root care ones these are old school mitre red panels i'm going to platinum new platinum led panel here okay so i've got a platinum led biomax 300 the third gen i've got my spectrometer and that's plugged into a laptop let's look at this data so that was just a quick snapshot don't worry about distance or anything like that as you can see here on the screen we have the same uh, parabolic multi-wave technology that root care have well, maybe it's not exactly the same, but you get the gist. The red light peak where my cursor is right now is peaking at 659.6 nanometers. So there's your 660. Down here, we see another second peak. That's at 632, just because this panel also has 632 LEDs. Uh, over here, we have some light at 805, 806 nanometers. Uh, and then over here, we have 850. Okay, so those are four, four key peaks. You also have a, a blue light peak here because of course this does have blue light as well. As you can see, they're not uh, straight up and down lines. This was a device with say lasers. You'd see a lot more up and down lines. What this data here is showing me is there's actually a lot of energy say between, I don't know, maybe 620 nanometers all the way through to 672. Most of it of course is up here in the 660s and a decent amount in 630. Uh, over here, again, you've got a nice wide range. When we try that in a different spot, we can see that you get more light coming out in the near infrared range. So for that particular spot I just tested then, obviously there's a lot more energy in the near infrared. And again, you could say between 770 all the way through to 820 has a lot of therapeutic red light. That's just one example. Let me show you another one. Here I have the Rojo 300. From Rojo Therapy Lights, let me turn this on. All right, so with this particular reading, the peak is at 660.31. There's another peak over here at 660. And then you've got a bit of a peak around 835 and quite a broad range there as well. What's interesting with this, again, you see those parabolic patterns. Now, what this is showing is the LEDs don't just put out the wavelength that it was listed. There's actually a range of energy, a range of light across, uh, you know, anything from say 20 nanometers to like 50 nanometers in this particular instance. Okay, enough of the geeky stuff. What does all of this mean? Is parabolic multi-wave technology a game changer for the red light therapy industry? Uh, well, no, it's not really anything new. It's just a new term for something that has been around for a while. Uh, but a lot of people aren't aware of it. But credit is due here because Rootkit are vocal about something that is often not really talked about. The issue I have is it's nothing new. Every red light therapy panel on the market admits a parabolic range of light. There's two final thoughts I have here. Firstly, if the Rootkit G3 had truly amazing uh, light spectrum distribution as they claim i would expect that the leds are dual chip leds and each led had both 660 and 850 nanometer light because that would give the best distribution but i don't think that is the case at least i couldn't find that information on their website i will hopefully review one of those panels uh, in which case i can test that out myself and secondly i'm not surprised this has happened if we pull up that data from the rojo 300 that i tested there's no reason why a company could come out and say we emit therapeutic light between 620 nanometers all the way through to 670 nanometers. There's a decent amount of light based on that reading I just tested, and it does go right across. So I'm not really surprised it has happened. What I am surprised is that they hadn't gone further and said, look, we offer a panel that's emitting 650 through to 
670 nanometers and that would have really shaken up the market and to be honest i think it will happen and i'll probably do a video when that's out uh, as well now if you've watched all this and you are thinking well i want a panel that has really good light coverage even if it doesn't have the parabolic multi-wave technology term on the box then i've got a video for you and that's where i do test a bunch of panels testing their output and seeing if that light is well distributed i'll put a link to that next and you can go check that out otherwise i thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe